Good day, everybody. This is BA Radiant Dawn, and we are back with the banner for the Hero Rises 2023. And joining me is Toasty Baruka. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing all right. You know, thanks for having me on here. Hey, I'm always happy to have you. It's been a hot minute. This is long overdue, and I could not think of a funner topic than 2023 Hero Rises. So. Like this, this was this was an interesting battle right from the get go. Cause like some of these brackets here were absolutely crazy, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Like especially especially with like Ninja Kamala and the Fallen Edo Guard thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that was. And, but I mean, like in terms of crazy, I mean, like th th they were slugfest, dude. Dual Chromophilia. Yeah. That was a they really close the, match. Yeah, I've seen I've seen all of them. Like they were like insane. A lot oh, of them yeah. were at same all the time. A lot of them were like a couple freaking swing, like one swing away. It was crazy. Like I, yeah. I foresaw the Edelgard versus Veronica one being a really tough battle because they were both really loved characters. They're both really good units. So like that was I guess I saw that one being a slugfest. And the reason why I thought like Duo Crom versus Ophelia would be a slugfest is because we're talking the a, an amazing unit with shit fodder versus. A not so great unit with stellar fodder and you can chain fodder too like that is phenomenal yeah. and then like yeah i remember i remember that the chain fodder trick for rearmed heroes yeah i i love it i love that as a thing it actually hurt my soul because i was talking to a friend of mine who pulled like multiple copies of um alfred and she didn't do that and i'm like all the fodder <laughs> Because she didn't know that's how it worked. I'm like, oh, shit. Anyway, so um, without further ado, we're going to show you guys the winners. Basically, who's going to be on the banner. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited for this graphic. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. So just a heads up, everyone. I got this from Phaeology. Joel said I could use it. Joel's a bro. Check out Phaeology's channel down in the down in the description below. Also, you should also check to, uh, check out Toasty Baruka. He's a pretty cool dude. Just saying, he's doing like a randomized Fates run right now. It's kind of sick. Oh yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Uh, I had to do crazy grinding just to get through like conquest, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are the winners for the Hero Rises. These are the units that are going to be on the banner, and honestly. These are stellar, dude. Okay, so oh. right off the bat, we got the best nuke, the best uh, fodder, the best tanky unit that's not a save skill user, and like the be one of the best save skill users. Arguably, arguably, I'd say for Modus is the the best far saver or really close. I would actually put Lion King above him. But it's really hella close. Mm, I, I can see that. I see that. Well, in, in my experience, Happy cannot nuke Lion King, but she can nuke... I've tested and she can nuke Formotus, no problem. That's the difference. Mainly because of AoE. Anyway, so yeah, this is the uh, results for this heat round of Hero Rises. These are the units that are going to be on the banner, and honestly, I'm not complaining. Yeah, good. I mean, we got we got some th three people with thick thighs right there. So you know, this is this is the banner for me. <laughs> yeah, this is like the Baruka banner in a nutshell, except there's no uh uh. Wh wh where's the where's the uh alt of uh, Baruka? <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere <laughs> somewhere in an alternate universe. Hell if we know. Anyway, um. So yeah, like they all have pretty solid fodder. Or they're really good units in their own right. Uh, Veronica has attack speed catch, and she has that. Pa I think it's panic smoke four. I think it is. That gives I like so. faux like uh de faux debuff doubler or whatever the hell it's called. Like that's a, that's a really good skill to be not gonna lie. Like it's kind of crazy. And then like Ophelia is rearmed, so you can do the chain foddering technique and give like. 11 pe 11 units special spiral 4 if you pull if you could get her to plus 10 which is fucking dumb but you know i love it 
Um, Ninja Camilla has... Ooh, what does Ninja Camilla have? She has the Seal Res. I think that's her gimmick. Yeah, Seal Res 4. Yeah. I don't and think she has, has the... She has the... Uh, I think the Distance... Distant Ferocity or something? Like... No, I think she has like a close... She She's a Tome, so she... Or Dagger. Yeah. She's Tome. No, tome. It, So she no, has she, a she, yeah, she's Tome. Yeah, yeah. So she has a a, cl- a a close one. So she has a close something. Give me one second. Something, I can find out. I can remember. I so, can find it. So, something something to do with like like attack. Okay, so Ninja Camilla has. It is called Close Salvo. That's what it is. Which is not bad, but definitely the seal res is like she's the only unit with seal res, so that's her main selling point. And Formotus doesn't really have much for fodder. He's got the save skill. That's that's like I think that's about it, honestly. Yeah, that's it. yeah. That's what makes him a monster. I mean, he I mean he is a literal monster too. So oh, like... he's got the uh, B slot, the special B slot that only he has. Um, what is it called? And the A slot. Oh, beast yeah. follow up. That's what it is. Oh, and also I think, and also I think he has a nightmare. Well, yeah, but you can't inherit that. But like that is yeah. that—that's what makes him a good unit, right there. Just <laughs> shutting down units completely. So like he's really good for like so pretty much three of these four units are great in summoners duels. Uh, two of them are really good for arena. I'd say ether raids. I don't really play, but I can imagine Camilla and of course Formotus are good there. So, like, this is overall a fantastic banner. Um, Baruka, who was... Yeah. Is this your... I Was this your ideal top four from this round? Uh, to, to be completely honest, um, yes. But, like, the only difference was that it was... Instead of Roderick, it was Summer Edelgard. Because I figured that, you know, Summer Edelgard is fair and balanced. So, like, people would want to use her more. And, I mean, she, she's a really good unit. But, unfortunately, she lost... So, you know, but overall, I mean, it is a really, I think it is my ideal banner. Yeah, I think for me, I would have, only because of personal reasons, I think overall, like, I would have done the same thing as you, except I would have done Robin over Formotus as well, but that's only because I could chain fodder, hardy fighter. That's it. That's no other reason. And of course, like, ring Arm Robin is like, one of the, also a top tier save skill user. But... Yep. The chain fodder is what I want to do, because you know me. For Ponzaloki, all my red dragons are armored, all my green dragons are armored. Imagine all of them having Hardy Fighter and being impossible to kill. Please. Oh, that, that'd, be, that, that'd be totally fair. <laughs> that would have gotten me my first highest, like my highest score, like my highest ranking yet. I'm still stuck at rank 17 as my highest. But like 17th in all of is pretty good. But like, this is the banner that we get. And honestly, it's still pretty damn good. I already have Formotus. I think I have, like, a plus two one already, actually. I have never pulled Veronica. I've had to spark for her every single time. Uh, same with Ophelia, and same with... Oh, wait, no, I pulled Camilla, and then I foddered the Seal of Res instantly to Happy for um, Arena. So, I'm glad I get a Ninja Camilla back. But yeah, like... Uh, who are you? Who are whose team were you on for this? Uh, for the first round, uh, I was on Formulus. Formulus, well, however you pronounce his name, uh, Formotus. Demon Guy. Formotus. Demon Guy. Yeah, he uses a Formotus. corpse as his as his body. Hmm. Uh, I actually was part of the reason Fallen Metal Guard lost. I was on Team Camilla. And I almost forgot to play until I hopped into the Phaeology server and they were like, oh, there's only 10 minutes left. We have to beat Edelgard. She's actually in the... She has the multiplier. I'm like, oh. Oh, go, 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 go. I dumped 800 uh, flag thingies. I use all eight of my movement attack thingies. And I'm like, I'm done. I've helped out as much as I can, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize for being late, but I did it. And we won. So I'm like, yay, go team. Um... So, for the viewers in the audience watching this video, there's a couple fun facts that you should know about this, ba- about this, uh, <laughs> A Hero Rises. First off, this is like the fourth or fifth time, I want to say fourth, I think fourth, fourth time in a row 
that Edelgard has lost the first round. She's not, never actually right. made it onto a banner. She's been kicked. She's gotten her butt kicked every single time. Man, yeah, four years, man, four years in a row. Yeah, base, brave. Oh wait, hang on. Legendary, Plus, legendary. legendary, fallen. Legendary. Oh, but he five years in a row. Yeah, and summer, and then summer lost again because remember there was that summer banner that uh, was uh, uh, fallen. That summer voting got lit with the newer one versus the old summer. Yeah, so it was base, brave, legendary, uh -huh. fallen, and now fallen. summer. Every version of Edelgard has lost a hero uh, voting gauntlet, except Fallen's lost it twice now, and and this is the second time in a row that, or the second time in history of a hero rises that Edelgard has that an Edelgard has lost to a Veronica, because when it was base. Edelgard, she got knocked out by Brave Veronica. <laughs> Apparently. That's what I read anyway. I'm pretty sure I could fact check this later, but if this is true, this is just funny as hell. <laughs> well, um, well, man, Veronica... <laughs> Edelgard had, like, two entries in, and she lost both. Yeah. She had... she, Edelgard was literally a quarter of this voting gauntlet, and she still <laughs> lost. She still lost. Yeah. <gasps> Oh my god, that is brutal. But yeah, um, overall, this is going to be a pretty stellar banner. Uh, Baruka, are you going to pull and are you going to spark? Or are you going to go beyond spark? Am I going to pull? Um, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to pull. Um, I don't have Ninja Camilla, so I might go for... Hopefully I can get her, maybe I can spark him. And oh, more Ophelia's would be nice. Mm -hmm. You know, like all that fodder. The special yeah. Spiral 4 especially. I want, I want to give that to my Hitari Carla. Because yeah, she has attack speed finish, right? I think so. Which, yeah, attack and speed finish four as well too. Yeah, and then she's got a special spiral four. Actually, no, it's I think it's res. Is no, it no, no, res? it's not speed. It's res. She has attack and res finish four because I gave it to Tharja. I remember. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was still attacking pretty her. good. I'm actually just yeah. gonna take a look see because I want to see. I can't remember exactly what. I don't remember what she has for a C slot though. I don't remember. Let me take a look-see. So, she does indeed have Attack Res Finish 4. She's got Special Spiral 4, and she's got Times Pulse 3. So if you pull a Nino, you could have Times Pulse 4, Special Spiral 4, Attack Res Finish 4, and then she'd be the ultimate fodder unit. Like, as it is, she's a damn good fodder unit, but with Times Pulse 4, she'd be kind of badass. Just saying. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, me, myself, I'm probably going to go in on this banner. I'm probably going to spark it. And I'll probably do a live for you guys. This is a painful month, actually, there, Baruka. Do you know why? Why? Well, I want to plus 10 at my duel I doon. Uh-huh. And what month are we in? March. Oh, wait. Is Easter next month? Uh, Yeah. Oh, thank God. I thought it was this month. I'm like, oh, God, this month is going to be terrible. I'm safe. Okay, good. Okay, so I just have to worry about Hero Rises, the Legendary Banner, and a Special Heroes Banner. That's about oh, it. Oh, no, but no, no, we, we still get the Spring Banner in March. It's always been a Spring Banner in March, man. We get that oh. early. But the Spring isn't until, like, actual April. Okay. Well, I'll have to wait until the calendar comes up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but yeah. if I have to worry, because like, typically the rerun banners happen later, so I might hit a window where I don't have to worry about it this month. But we'll Honestly, see. I think it could have been a St. Patrick's Day banner, but the Japan doesn't celebrate that, so... Mm, true. So true, Japan don't true. celebrate that, so they, that's why there's no banner. But they do celebrate Easter over there, though. Easter's a thing over there. Mm. Okay, well... Uh, that's basically my plan for the next little while in terms of summoning. Um, the, the very next summoning session is going to be prob hopefully live, and it's going to be the Legendary Banner with Legendary Robin, and I'm going to go in on the, the double, the, not the double special, the Special Heroes Banner that's coming up. The Banner trailer should be out, like, tomorrow for that one, potentially. Actually, no, it's, uh, Silhouettes. Silhouettes actually, and oh, then so there's the trailer the okay, next yeah. day, and then and then because remember remember the, when it says the fourth, it's actually the fifth. Yeah, I I, I just remember that. I'm like, wait a minute. So we get yeah. the silhouettes tomorrow. So the day after tomorrow, 
we yeah, get the because like, um, if there was if there was that way, we would have gotten the silhouettes tonight and yeah. then the trailer tomorrow and then the banner. But no, the, it's silhouettes tomorrow, trailer next day, and then update slash the banner. Yeah. There's so many focus. Well, yeah, so and then, that's my and then two days well. two days from there will be the actual spring banner. And apparently, you heard about that it got leaked, right? A little bit of it, yeah. Um, I from the sounds of it, I won't care about anything about other than the duo. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or, or harmonize whatever I'm, we're on. I think we're on duo. Right? I mean, if you know it, I mean, you 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 particularly already know what I'm worried about. I do not. But we'll, we'll we'll talk about that in the, later on. Um, is okay. there anything you else you want to add about a Hero Rises this time around? Are you excited for it? Yeah, because this time it's not like the previous years where it was all green when everyone thought that was God's gift to Earth. Oh my God, we almost uh, we almost forgot to mention that. Okay, so me and Baruka are like apparently sharing the same brain cell here. And yeah, <laughs> we both did not want. A monocolor hero rises now before you guys jump in on the comment section let me explain why baruka did you have like a bad round la like last year with the all green yes um uh, my free summon you want to know what happened no green it was all colorless and i think what it caused my experience with that to be bad and traumatizing to the point where like i have like post-traumatic stress disorder about a monocolor to hero rises is that on the way up to the spark i think i only had like three circles that actually had a green i can't remember if they maybe had more than one green but they had at least one but that means five circles had no green so why does it matter if the banner is mono if you don't get the mono <laughs> yeah what? yeah and yeah, like, and not to mention, statistically speaking, that was probably the worst banner ever because green has a statistically low chance of spawning. Mm -hmm. As you know, green has the lowest spawn rate of all the or color orbs. But if I remember correctly, actually, someone apparently did the math, and it was like a high, the highest chance because they all, all the focuses were the same color. So green actually had the highest chance of of appearing. Yeah, but uh, but here's 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 how here's why math the math was even though the math was correct, it was still wrong because okay, rule. Tip number one, um, there's the whole point of the fact that um, all the other five stars got disabled, so that means you're more likely to get five star or four, st like three star, four stars more because you remember the other five stars have been taken out of the pool. And um, all green heroes don't share the same rate; they share like a, a percentage of the rate of the five percent uh, that they come in. Mm -hmm. So you know that they have a tiny. And besides, if you're specifically for a specific hero, you're gonna you're more likely to get the other three instead of the one you specifically want. Yeah. And last but not least, Matt, luck cannot beat math, no matter what how much you try. I think you mean math can't beat luck. Yeah, math can't beat luck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me reword that. Yeah. Math cannot beat luck. All right. And you can have the top tier calculations, the correct calculations, everything stuff. You could be freaking Einstein for all I care. And you'll still lose only to because of luck. Because mm -hmm. probability is something you can't predict well. That's unpredictable. That's the whole reason why it's probability. Yep. So like, there, that's my take on it. What, what what gets me is the fact that like every banner has a percent has like a rate. Everyone says the rates are a lie. But then they claim but then they do the math and the rates and their rates are right. It's like you can't use rates in a gotcha. It doesn't work like that. Math yeah, they, I, I feel like they were, they were, mathematically, you might have a higher chance of pulling these five stars if they're all mono. Uh, reality doesn't work with math sometimes. Let me, yeah, just, no. let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Basically, the way I look at it is when it comes to a monocolor banner, right? The, yeah. the more, the smaller the pool, the like the smaller the color choices on a banner, the more wild that banner is going to be. And by that, I mean like. When it came to the all green, right? You you either had the best luck in the world, the god tier pulls, or you got shit. No in between. It's one or the other. Yep. Mono yeah, colors like... create the biggest right, like the biggest extremes, and nothing really else. There might be a yep. couple oddballs who popped in the middle there and got like maybe one or two, but I I've only heard stories of godliness. And worst banner ever. 
Yep, That's I've seen that a lot of times. Yep, a lot of people had like, especially last year, like everything was just. Everyone kept p putting stories on Reddit and Twitter about like, guy, I, I spent a whole circle to spark. I barely only got one green, or they got nothing. Because mm -hmm. you would have been pity broken by now if you had other five stars. Yeah. You would have gotten pity broken, but since that's removed, that makes the rate even harder to summon the five star because you know you remove another factor, another pool of five stars. So, so yes, so yes, people, please stop saying monocolor banners are God's gift to Earth. It's that's a lie. Math cannot beat luck. End of story. Yeah, at the end of the day, it boils down to our luck. But that luck can be, like, manipulated a bit. And that's what the red... In, that's what mono does, in my opinion. Is it completely, like... It goes for... Like, let's say it's a one of each color. Mm -hmm. The extremes aren't as bad. You, you, do, you, you typically do okay. You might do less than okay. You might do higher than okay. But at least there's, like, an average. A middle of the range. Typically, people do... Okay, but like uh, mono, I only I've only ever heard stories of just pure awesome, pure trash, no in between. Like it just amp as the pool as the color focus tightens, the range, like the extremes go wider. That that's my take on it. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this discussion. Uh, there will be timestamps down in the description below. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, like, comment, subscribe to both me and Baruka. And, again, shout-out to Phaeology, uh, Joel, and all the others, of course. Y'all are awesome. For the graphic here, for the Hero Rises, you guys do such a crazy good job. This thing is beautiful, let me tell you. And, yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, this is B-Rated on signing off. Bye. And don't forget. Bye. Schedule an appointment with your phaeologist sometime soon. <laughs> 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 See you, everybody. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one.